Hey guys, um, give me another simple pasta video today. I have, I have not had the time to make a lot of videos today. It's been very touchy and go today if I'm going to do one or not. I was going to do one today and we was going to go out where. But, in truth, British spirit and tradition, it's raining. And we are in the British winter time now, so it's going to rain a lot. So, we're probably not going to do as many outside videos as I wanted to do. But, who cares? Never let me down, I'm still going to cook. So, have fun with it. Alright, let me run you through the ingredients, what we've got here, and let me show you how we're going to prepare this dish. Here, I've got about 50 grams of, of the chorizo sausage. Very simple. One lime. Two cloves of garlic. Tin of sweet corn. Half a bag of macaroni. It's about ooh, 100 grams there, roughly. And these. Uh, you can't see what's in them. Because they're going to say secret till the day we actually do them when I finish making the dish. So, until then. All I'm going to do now, I'm going to put, I've got a pan here, I've, I've preheated for about 4 minutes, I want it to get nice and hot, so I'm going to put about a tablespoon of olive oil into the pan. Very hot pan. You don't need much oil because you want to knack out, you want to pull out and um, render out all the natural factors in the chorizo sausage. So I'm going to angle the camera down now so you can see what we're doing. Also, I've got a new knife. This is my college knife set. It's a very, very, very beautiful knife set. All engraved my initials. I don't know if you can see it. You probably can't see it on the camera, but who okay, cares? Let's get on with it. So, down we go. Alright, as you can see down here, we have the chorizo sausage. All I'm going to do is half it, very carefully half it, and look at that, beautiful. Take this horrible papery stuff to the outside, you don't want to eat that, it's not nice for anyone. So pick it off, that's horrible, it doesn't taste very nice at all. Look at this, see this one. Slice it as fine as you can. Like that. You want to get this into the pan and you want it and you're gonna hear sizzle now so Render that fact out, it's going to take about a minute, minute and a half. Have that fat start <coughs> rendering out the sweet and sausage. Um, I'm not going to use any onions. Bump in this. Right, what goes in next is the secret ingredient, I thought it was going to say secret, mustard seeds. Look at them. So we've got about a heap tablespoon of these going into the pan. How much? About a heap tablespoon, so have a look over there. See it down here? See all this? See a little shape around. I'm gonna move it around. I don't want to move it around too much. I want to get that as crispy as I can before I start moving on to the other things. Back over here. I'm gonna prep you're gonna prep your garlic, so whip the two ends off. Like you would any garlic clove. Sometimes they peel easy, sometimes they don't. If they don't peel easy, put your knife on top, give it a little crack like that. Other than it, put and it breaks the skin off altogether. Alright, these are two small cloves, so you know, put your knife, I don't want to burn. I call it 
Fruit Smack and House Fried with Rice. That was great. Thank you, Alright. I'm going to slice these as fine as you can. So. No, one usually enough most people but I like garlic, so I'm gonna put two in, stretch it. I can smell it, starting to release its fats out, the fat the eyeballs are lovely. Rich. Red colour. Just what I wanted. Shake up. Then you put your pasta on. Then you put the pasta in the water. Um, season the water quite generously. About two tablespoons. Add your pasta to the pan. Put the lid back on. Let it simmer. Bring it to boil actually. Fast, furiously, quite. Right. It's going nice, it's going good. We're about half a line. Look Half. Oh, of course. No line for that, that's the bloody things. About oh, half a line. Not too so much. There we go. Passing that forward nicely. You want it, you want the line over parallel, you want it there in the background. You want the lime in the background, like, ooh, what's that? Nice, touch of freshness to the mouth. <laughs> so, nice, basically, just tastes nice. Over, over here, in my magical cupboard, which always seems to be full of stuff which I can use, down here, I have it on. A nice <laughs> secret ingredient of. Chinese fire spice. It sounds crazy, it is. Pretty much. Add a teaspoon. A little less, if you prefer. Uh, anyway, that's all. What's the sauce? Doesn't have to be, li doesn't have to be dearly imperative with cheap stuff, it's hard for it. Careful with that stuff, it can take over quite tremendously. Okay. Another little hint from the store cupboard. About half a dessert spoon of hint sauce. That'll do. The these flavours, they sound overpowering like they overpowering each other. They will, but they won't. You know what I mean? They're gonna almost blend into one another, make a make make a um, robust flavour, and it's gonna go. So. Nice wooden spoon. Give it all stir and that lovely. Come on. <coughs> Sorry guys. The vinegar burning off the mint sauce, it really does get me sometimes. Get my shape. Have a little pasta. 
Oh, nice, nicely. Take. With pasta, always take it out a minute before it's ready. Because that gives it time to <laughs> suck up all the juices in this pan. Which will make it a little oil. Pepper. I'm going to drain these three corn. Not much. About three quarters of a tin sweet corn there goes in the pan. Right. You can give it a little, sh give it a little toss, give it a little shake. I'll stay in the water and just. And that will make your feet back up nicely. No, no, no more need for these, so they can go back on my bicycle. Hey, <laughs> um, where's he gone? Where, 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 where is he gone? Cherry vanilla. Teaspoon. No more. That's gonna add such a wonderful. Essence and flavour. So this doesn't this won't need much seasoning at all. Whack it to we want to whack it to a really high heat now if you want to get all the flavours done. That's all mine. So it's half like the whole line depending on how the taste so now you want to cook that vinegar away. Quite furious to cook it away. Check the pasta. Take a little. Give it a stir. Look at that there. Four minutes. <laughs> Love it again with the pasta. That pasta is about done. That pasta is about done now, so you can take the lid off. Turn that off. Drain it. Shake, put your pasta into the pan. No more heat is required now. Turn it all off now. Look over here. Look at that. It's all here. Okay now. Here's the water. There's a relevant now. There you go. Ready? Just put it on the plate. This will serve two people quite easily. I don't know if I didn't put this pepper in because the treat does not very spicy. But I'm going to put it at the top. Put it at the top. I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to put it pasta ball inside the water. So now. Then I'm going to generously. I can't speak. It's going to be generous with the salt as well. 
All your taste buds off. You're sweet, you're sour, you're spicy. In fact, it just sets them all off. It's a joy to eat. <laughs> Gorgeous meal. Enjoy it. Please like and favourite if you enjoyed. Subscribe to be first to get more videos from me. Um, please write. Please leave a comment down below. I'll, I'll, I'll read them. Uh, after a question, a catering question, I will answer them for you. Um, that's it. If you like, if you, and you and you try and making any of my meals at home, leave a video response down below. I will watch it and I will comment on it and leave. I will comment and leave you a few. I'll leave you a like, I'll leave you a fave, if you've got a channel, I might, I might subscribe. I might subscribe as well as head time. <laughs> In the meantime, thanks for watching guys, bless you all and bye.